Good evening, I'm Cindy Shewin for Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. Tonight, police say they know who they're looking for in the Queens double shooting. The suspect accused of killing his girlfriend and injuring a neighbor who just tried to help. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live in Ridgewood, Queens with the developing details. Alice? Police are still here at the apartment building on Fresh Pond Road near Palmetto Street. A short time ago, we saw them taking out bags of evidence. The man alleged to have done this, he is still on the run. Take a close look at the photos we're about to show you. Tonight, police could be seen inside the apartment building that was the scene of today's double shooting. This as the search continues for 55-year-old Pedro Citron in connection with the murder of 51-year-old Migdalia Ortega. Police sources tell us Ortega was his girlfriend. They said stay inside your store because there is a killer here, there was a crime, so you better stay inside the store and we didn't go outside. Around 8.15 a.m., police responded to a 911 call of shots fired. They found two women with gunshot wounds. Ortega was shot in the head. A 48-year-old neighbor on the second floor was shot in the stomach and shoulder. Police say she was trying to help. Went to check on the third floor occupants. She was then shot and fled back to her apartment. The male suspect followed her and continued shooting. She is in critical but stable condition. We showed Citrin's picture around the neighborhood, but no one we spoke with recognized him. I was very shocked about it. I was extremely shocked. Ortega was an 11 year civilian member of the NYPD who worked in the Information Technology Bureau. There's no words to explain exactly how, how we feel. We, we feel deeply for the family. The NYPD says there are no prior reports of domestic violence between the two. If you know anything, give police a call. Live in Ridgewood, Queens, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.